feathered facts. I'm Fancy Falcon and this is... I don't know. You don't know your name? No, I don't. Tusi. This is Tusi Tukin. Tusi. And we have a live studio audience joining us today, so if you hear laughter in the background... Right, Tusi? No. No? <laughs> All right, so Tusi, thank you so much for joining us for our special second day of Christmas episode. And we're also going to do the third day of Christmas, but let's start with the second day first. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. And today, your true love sent to you what? Two? I don't know. Turtle don't know. doves? Yeah, two turtle doves. Hold up. Why am I holding up? Is that's, that right? <laughs> that's a turtle. Uh oh. To see not this kind of turtles, but the turtle doves that we'll be talking about. Wait, you said two turtle doves? Yes, two Hold turtle up. doves. Oh my gosh, there's two of you! Yeah, it's not turtle doves, but. Tusi and Tina? No, Tusi. Tusi and Tusi. Did you clone yourself? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> what do you mean? Alright, can I have the real Tusi, please? Yeah. Alright. Tusi. Thank you. Are you the real Tusi? Yeah. Alright. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, two turtle doves. And we're talking about specifically the European turtle doves today. And the two turtle doves in the song represent what? Do you happen to know? Uh, the Old Testament and New Testament? Yes, you're right. The Old and New Testament. And the Old Testament is also known as the Torah in the Jewish tradition. But yes, and I am wearing a very festive European style peasant flower headband to celebrate the 12 days of Christmas. We what? didn't need that much detail. Well, I thought you did. Because the 12 days of Christmas was a celebration and it started on Christmas Eve and it culminated on that 12th day. You've heard of the 12th night celebrations? No. No. Well, we'll talk more about that when Mardi Gras comes around. But anyway, two turtle doves, the European turtle doves are what we are talking about. And they are the only doves in Europe, the only species that does what? Uh, migrate? That's right. And do you know where they migrate? To Africa? That's right. They migrate in the winter to the northern parts of Africa. And they lay how many eggs? Uh, two. Yes. They lay two eggs and then they raise that brood and then do they raise another brood? Wait, what? Whenever they lay the eggs, the two eggs, they raise one brood. Then some birds only do that, but do turtle doves lay more than one brood? Yeah. Yeah, they do. They lay how many? Two. Yeah, they, they raise two broods. Two seeds. <laughs> and they're actually dispersed all over Europe and Asia and parts of Africa. And their wintering grounds, like you said, are in northern Africa. And they are this small, timid, gray sort of bird, and they're very pretty. And oh my goodness, are you the clone, Tusi? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not this kind of turtle, okay? So, and doves generally symbolize peace. That's just sort of um, general knowledge of. The symbolism you have a fuzzy on your beak, Tusi. Well, I do. Yeah, you did. So, well, Tusi, is there any questions that you have about turtle doves that you don't remember or don't know about? Why the turtle? I'm not sure why they call them turtle doves, actually. I'm honest. Why couldn't it be lion doves or zebra doves? Probably because they're not black and white. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the third part of the song... But like, why couldn't it have been squid doves? <laughs> okay, so the third part of the song, because today is technically the third day of Christmas, and it's yeah. also... Tusi, guess what day it is? Ooh, what? It's my birthday! Ah! 
it really is my birthday. Why does that scare you? <laughs> because I don't like days or births. Too many. <laughs> There's too many days. <laughs> I don't think the dog likes it either. No. <laughs> Did I scare him off? I don't know. Oh. Give me. Did you give me a present? Cry Yay! What? Actually, no, I got you with it. You got me with uh, it. Uh. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's even European style. Look at this little hat. I love it. Thank you, Tracy. Wait, I got something else. You got something else. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't nice. I know. Tracy, you are a hot mess. I know. All right. So on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Do you know what they gave to their true love on the third day? Three French hands. Oh. <laughs> and basically, they just believed that the French hands was probably just chickens. Chickens that were in France. Because Chicken. chickens were a very popular bird as um, a meal in medieval times. Because Meals? I'm hungry. Well, I mean, I don't think you want to eat. Chicken. I'm going to go eat. You don't want to eat a chicken. I'm going to go eat. Bye. That would be cannibalism. All right. This is part three of the 12 days of Christmas birds. Ah. And on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three twin hens. <gasps> oh look, it's a hen! Oh. What you think, two C? I don't like it. You don't like it? Poor Flutter. Ah! Stop <laughs> biting me! What is wrong with you? I guess your true love shouldn't send you three French hens. Nope. Well, here. I'll eat them all. I'm gonna cover the hen's ears. They actually ate the chickens. It was more like chickens in France that they ate. But a lot of the birds of the 12 days of Christmas. Oh my God! We are sorry. <laughs> we are you sorry. Mean, you Why not? <laughs> no chickens were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think he's calling you a chicken. All right, our live studio audience is enjoying that. Flutter, are you okay? It didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Alright, save water! <laughs> the three French hens, they were probably just birds from France. Tusi, where'd you go? And this was, you have to remember that the time this was set in was this medieval time period where, oh my gosh, <laughs> I will protect you, Father. Um, that they had these festivals and then the early Christians are coming in and just sort of mixing the rituals and the festivals together. And so the 12 days, it was about all this hunt and the winter solstice and such, but then they also had this religious representation. And the three French hens symbolize <laughs> faith, hope and love, or faith, hope and charity. None of those what was in me. We know to see we're yeah, aware. Yeah. We're gonna work on that, right? Especially not the love. <laughs> so. Would you stop? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the three French hands represented faith, hope, and love. You could've used, you could've used my other chicken. You could have been in the video, Fast Falcon. Yeah. But you decided not to. Now I oh. am. And your chicken is being fine. tortured. My chicken is Revenge of the chicken. Come here, boy. I'm going to eat I'm going to eat you. We do not condone violence my, on feathered facts. My lunch got away. <laughs> <laughs> you are not going to eat another bird, Toosie. Alright guys, I think we have our bird violence under control. And hello. 
Hi, yeah, Sassy they kicked Swan. me out. Go. They kicked me no out. Way. We no kicked you out for good way. reason, Tusi. What? I was only eating buds. <laughs> you were on Santa's naughty list next year. Yay! <laughs> all right, play for Penguin. I was already on Santa's naughty list. Are you excited about the next Feathered Facts videos? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to save parrots for later because the next birds we're going to learn about. Can I do the thing with parrots? Oh, it's okay. Yeah. The next birds we're going to learn about, our own sassy swan has agreed to host with us because she is very fond of British accents. So on the four calling birds, what in the world have you... <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tina, you have learned Tootsie's bad ways. I have. You have? I can't see you, Tina. On the next Feathered Facts, our own sassy swan has agreed to host because she is very fond of British accents. And the four calling birds, they do believe that it was four collie birds, which we'll learn about what that meant in <laughs> old England. What in the world? Oh my goodness, there's a playful penguin that's after me. All right, guys, that's see you on the next that's Feathered me. Facts. Oh, that's me. oh, hi. We'll see you on the next Feathered Facts. Hi. Happy, merry third day of Christmas and second day of Christmas since we didn't do that one yesterday. It's also my birthday, so. Hooray! Bye guys! <laughs> Every birdie is special! Yeah! Yeah! Alright, I think we're done. I'm special. You are special, playful penguin. Hey! Learning about some birds. At the end of this, you'll know a lot of words. Hey! Looking at some pictures. Learn about some birds of all the different mixtures.